Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 2 in this series and is entitled My First Java Program. Double click the NetBeans icon on your desktop. Click File, New Project. Along categories, choose Java. Along project, choose Java application. They are probably the defaults. Then click next. The new Java application dialog box appears and will ask you to fill in the text fields. These fields interact with each other so that it changes other fields as you type. The project name is not just the name of the project. It is also used to name a directory or folder that will be created later. Moreover, it also becomes the default package name and the name of the class. Try typing my first Java program. Take note that I capitalize every first letter of every word, but no space separates them. Notice in the project folder text field that it intends to create a folder with that name. Look also at the last text field and see that the same name is used with all text turned to lowercase, followed by dot and the name of the class. That text with all small letters will be the package name. Technically, we don't have to use any package, but Sun Microsystems strongly suggests that we do to easily access resources after we deployed our program. The project location is where your project folder will be created. Let's create a folder where we will save all our projects. Click the Browse button. If you are already in the My Documents folder, create a new folder. Name it My Java Projects. Double click it and click Open. Be sure to check create main class. This means that the project will contain a main method. Having a main method means that your class can be run as an application. Click the finish button. The top left panel shows the project explorer. Below it is the navigator. The right panel contains our source file. Automatically included are comments shown in gray color. The package declaration the class declaration, and inside that class is the main function. The most basic statements that we need to learn are how to display information on screen and how to input data. We will make this tutorial easy to understand by always providing an activity and understanding it using IPOChart or input process output. Let's start with activity number one. We will create a Java class that displays the statement Welcome to Java Programming. There's no input in this activity, no process to be done, and the only output is to display the statement, Welcome to Java Programming. There are different ways of displaying information. Three of them are this, system.out.print, system.out.println, and system.out.printf. All values must be enclosed by parentheses, and all statements must be terminated by a semicolon. One thing you should remember is that Java is case sensitive. To accomplish activity number one, all we have to do is to add one statement inside the main function. I'll do it after the comment using system dot out dot print. I'll be using print line. The only difference between print and print line is the presence of the line feed. Then inside the parentheses, we will put the string constant. And because it's a string constant, we will enclose it also with double quotes. And then welcome to Java programming. And an exclamation point. Don't forget to terminate this statement with a semicolon. To run it, you can click the play button or right click and run the file. You can see here the output window displaying Welcome to Java Programming. Good job! We will try to improve our first Java class by doing activity number two. 
we will revise our class by asking for a user's name and then greet him or her with the statement, Welcome to Java Programming, followed by his or her name. This time, we have an input, and that is the name of the user. So we will use the word or the variable name to enter the user's name. There's still no process to do in this activity, but our output will change to the statement welcome to Java programming followed by a comma and it will end with the name of the user. To enter information from the console, one of the ways to do that is using the scanner class. These are the three statements that we need to use whenever we are going to ask for an input from the console. The first line should be written right after the declaration of the package. The next two lines can be inside the function, let's say the main function. So to do that, right after the package declaration, we have to type import java.util. If you can already see your option, then you can just press the enter key. Don't forget the semicolon. We will be discussing objects, classes, instantiation as we move along. For now, uh, please remember that if you're going to ask data from the user, you have to have this line first. Import java.util.scanner. The second thing you have to do under the main function, you have to instantiate again that scanner class. Scanner and then the name is a variable that will instantiate that scanner. Let's say input is equal to new scanner and inside the parenthesis is system that in. Remember that it's case sensitive. Because we're going to accept one value, that means we can also declare one variable and that variable must be of string type because we're expecting characters for the name. We have to inform also the user that he has to enter something. So we will use system.out.print and we'll give him a message like, please enter your name. We can semicolon. And now we can accept that data. That data must be in variable name. The instantiation of scanner is input that next you can see that there are different data types for input here like integer float double long short but we need string so we can either use next only or next line don't forget the semicolon and now that value is in the variable name we can just edit our output statement after the double quote is the plus sign and the variable name. Remember that this is good only for print and print line. If you're using print app, it's another story. You can run it now. Right click, run file. We have to enter a name. Let's say Abdallah. Let's enter. Now there's our output. Welcome to Java Programming, Abdallah. Well, congratulations for completing your first set of Java programs. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.